Hello and welcome to the last game of the quarterfinals of the LD2L Playoffs Season 6. I'm your caster, Abpanzus, and we are watching the first game between Rogue Padron. Rogue Padron Strikes Back and Weird Symbols. I've thought long and hard about this <laughs> the, the, this uh, name of Five that seconds. team. It, I, from now on, it will be anyway. Weird Symbols. Um, it is the two teams between Jotham and Natyak. I don't really know this name, so I'll go with that name. Um, I'm gonna go rather fast during the draft, as usual. Um, seconds. Five seconds. The winner of this series will move on onto the semifinals, which will be played this Sunday. So very excited to see who we're gonna see. Ten seconds. Underlord Five Ban seconds. first, strong laner, very strong pick in LD12. It's a hero that uh, can do very well Ten in lane, seconds. and doing well in lane can go very far. It's um, Dyer. See Sven Ban. And Gyrocop. Gyrocop, a very strong core that has been Ten established in a few games now. Sand King first pick, uh, very strong offlaner, and uh, also Lina Ban is very much, they're most likely aware that it's what's gonna be a Sand King first king. And Putch and Lion, Lion's gonna be position 5, Putch most likely 4, sometimes position 3 in higher MMR matches as well. We'll see. Jotham is the drafter here, he's gonna go for an Earthshaker, they have a lot of lockdown already on the side of Radiant. Big fan of that. Stunts win games. Uh, faceless Void Ban, Morphling Ban, they are scared of the Morph Shaker combo. Ten Maybe they played that Five before. Seconds. We'll see. And, uh, Viper Ban. Viper, very annoying hero to play against. And again, a hero that pretty much plays itself. Uh, Anti Mage Ban, that's a, that's a very surprising ban. Um, Ten seconds. Five wouldn't really seconds. know why you ban Anti Mage. Uh, maybe they have an anti-mage spammer on the side of uh, Rogue Padron Strikes Back. And we'll see the next pick on the side of Weird Symbols. It's really and it's an Axe Offlane. Axe Offlane most likely with Pudge. Um, that, those are to some Five two seconds. beefy beefy boys. Um, I, I like that. I like that they they have good frontlining heroes Dyer. now. Crystal Maiden. Crystal Maiden. Uh, so it's a uh, sanking offlane as Ten seconds now. it was most likely Five clear. Seconds. Earthshaker and Crystal Maiden support. Lifestealer. Ooh, Lifestealer is a very good counter to sanking. He doesn't really care about the sandstorm Five due to seconds. rage and uh, he can have a pretty good game. Uh, Monkey King. What's it's a that? rather That's fast amazing. temp course, uh, tempo That's course, so they are trying... <laughs> Very much trying to push the tempo against the, the weird symbols lineup. Um, Monkey King can come online rather early. Timber saw as well. Sand King. Anything. OD last pick. We will see if this OD is going to be able to hold the line for his Lifestealer. Lifestealer is going to need a lot of time. Um, to get Radiance and uh, the next few items. And... To to then win the game. Jotham on the Monkey King. And we'll see how this game works out. I will go to normal speed as soon as we are in the game. Wait, that looked weird. And a patch. Beautiful. We all love seeing a patch. Okay. Here we are. And no directed camera. No, thank you, Valve. I can do it myself. It might be terrible, but it is what I did. So, on the Radiant side, we see Irisia on the Crystal Maiden. Charcoal on the Timber Sod taking it safe lane. Very interesting. I was expecting it to be mid lane. Monkey King just keeps getting better. Um, got going mid, but it might have just been because of the OD last pick. Uh... Timbersaw doesn't really do well mid against an OD. Then we have no clip on the Earthshaker. And last but not least, Arphelius on the Sand King. 
On the dire side, we have Wangu on Lion. We see Chinese symbols on Lifestealer. Hello, Chinese symbols. That's your name now. Soggy Knight on OD. And Gnatiak on the Axe. And 2000 boxes on Putch. Lifestealer just keeps on hitting into the Sand King. He went level 1 feast. Nice stun. Is this first blood here? They He is used, forced to use the uh, Sandstorm. They put down a sentry. But he's getting really low. He doesn't have Sandstorm for another 30 seconds. Is this... This is gonna be three bounty runes for Dire. Good start for that Dire lineup. That is gonna need some time to come online. And another stun onto the Earthshaker. Is, are we gonna see first blood here? No close, but no cigar. But both of these laners here are at 30% HP. Meanwhile, Lifestealer, he's, he's living it up. And another stun onto Sanking and first blood for Ongu, landing the stuns. And he is doing really well, already able to buy boots if he so chooses to, or some more sentries because he's against the Sanking and it's very annoying. And uh, so we go to last hits, of course we see so far nobody really been able to get last hits because we're only 50 seconds into the game, what am I talking about? Uh, Jarkal going bottom. Jarkal and Arisia. I'm They're gonna push the lane now, having two range creeps. Uh, wanting to put the pressure onto the axe. Ongu is... Uh, no, it's not Ongu. It is Orphelius. Going out of his sandstorm. Um, but he did... He did... Uh, grab some experience from this pull. Oh my god, my words are not coming to me today. I am sorry. Okay, I'm awake now. I'm here. Let's drink some water. <sighs> Always stay hydrated. Okay, okay. So far, Jotham on the Monkey King doing really well. 8 and 2 against the 5 and 2 OD, but he's gonna get some more uh, creeps here. Grabbing one. The range creep getting denied by Jotham. Well played, well played by Jotham. We see another fight between Lion and Sand King. Not much happening here. Um, Lion still having the self, having a clarity. And uh, is he gonna intercept the Sand King? Landing another stun, some more right clicks. This Onigu having a good time. He is just bullying this Scorpion. And Lifestealer even coming. And another kill for the Lion. This top lane going really well for Dyer so far. Another stun onto the Earthshaker with lots of creep hitting him. Is Onigu gonna be able... Not ah, there, he just TPs out. He knows he would just die here. And uh, But that's a TP forced and he doesn't have any health. Uh, th th so far this top lane is winning for Dire. In terms of the last hits, um, Radiant looks a bit better. But I, I, I prefer... I'd, I'd prefer to be Dire right now. Actually... Let's stretch that. Your OD just died. I prefer to be Radiant. Jotham is feeling himself. Uh, that was a solo kill mid. That's a lot of EXP and he is gonna deny huge amounts of experience to the OD. This, this, this is big. This is big in a mid matchup. Uh, hook missed by Pudge. And Lifestealer having a really good game, still having his self, still having six tangos. And Axe going low, getting low, getting low, but still no kill so far. He doesn't have any he doesn't have much more regen, so we'll see what's gonna And we see Monkey King ha getting his stacks up again. He's gonna deny all of these creeps. 17 and 8 to the 12 and 2. Having a very good gain on Jotham so far. Same as Charcoal, his timber saw is popping off. Uh, this line, he just keeps on bullying this this Sanking. Sanking is just running. Please stop hurting me, no. But Lion is like fuck you, and keeps on going after him. He knows he's here. Like he can just steal that experience. This. This sanking is very sad. One and zero in terms of last hits. 
of course they kind of changed it so that uh, no clip is the offlaner now um, but you I think you'd rather prefer the farm to be on Sanking uh, who's gonna get that last hit and it is Sanking but he's taking lots of harass here and he just he keeps on getting more harassed and he's borrow striking down to the low ground not dying but also not being happy but lion he's like hey what up uh, we see bounty rune spawning and he knows like he can he can't stand in the sandstorm too much I'll so it yours. is in terms of bounty somebody hand. just keep it away from Money here changes. even though there was bounties here Erysia is gonna take both bottoms so it's a three for one for radiant radiant for sure mid lane and bottom lane are going very well for radiant at the same time top lifestealer is having a free game level five at five minutes in that's uh, pretty much on he is higher level than his od mid and jotham having level six now having wukong command wukong's command and they are trying to go on the axe lots of damage but no kill Top. Another sentry laid down. They see the Sand King. Uh, mana drain. Just out of range. For a second there. OD. He's level 5. He's really sad. He needs that to use that courier. More tangos. A sentry. And uh, Sand King wants to get some revenge onto this line. But so far. And I missed another kill. X going down bottom, Charcoal establishing his dominance together with Erysia. And Timbersaw, he is usually a hero that lacks a little bit in terms of mana regen, but CM is negating that with her aura. Another sentry put down, is this another kill on Sand King? Open wounds, but the Fisher stopping the, the pursuit, but Chinese symbols wanted to get that kill on a, Goog, on a killing spree now. Chinese symbols taking lots of damage from the tower. Meanwhile, mid Monkey King is just going in, stun, and this OD is dead once again. This is not the game for the OD. This is not what he hoped for. And we see, in terms of last hits, he has 19 while the Ma uh, Monkey King is at 35, 7 minutes in. So far, this Monkey King seems to be spanking on the OD. Of course, later on, OD might be able to uh, one-shot the uh, the Monkey King with enough intelligence stolen. But at the moment, he he needs to get smarter. He needs to have more more levels. He's still level five at seven and a half minutes in. That's not what you want to see happen from your mid lane. At the same time, Lifestealer is having a really good game. He's going for that Midas, getting close to it. And uh, X coming mid now. We see another kill attempt by Monkey King. He is he is stunning the OD and OD is once again. He's banishing the, the Monkey King. Is there going to be able to do, a, to do a kill against the Monkey King? And we see is the hook gonna land? Are they even attempting it? There's the hook. It's not gonna land. Boxes just a little bit off to the side. Meanwhile, Charcoal is just positioning himself behind the tier 1. He knows nobody can kill him at the moment. So he's just pushing this bottom lane. Pushing his advantage. And Erysia coming now top they need they want to do something about this life stealer and he's the only one who's had a good game so far for the dire side we will see how dire is going to respond to this x now is mid and od is going bottom he is level five still not six yet at nine minutes but he is gonna He's finally going to be able to be in a matchup that's a little bit more favored for him against the Timbersaw. Timbersaw level 7 though. And we see mid. Another kill for Jotham onto the axe with the rotation from Erysia. 
And this Monkey King, we see it in terms of net worth. He is gonna be top of net worth, nearly 5k at 10 minutes. And Orphilius leaving his Sandstorm. And pushing down this tier 1 now. We'll see how they're gonna react to this. Axe is coming in, stopping the Wukong's command, but is it gonna be enough? Hex? Into Impale, is it gonna be enough? Are they gonna... No! He gets to full life, he had stacks, he had his stun up. He knew, hey, what up, bitches? I'll just hide back on you. And we see 10 minute bounty runes. We see 3 going to Radiant. Radiant just furthering his the advantage. And we see Lifestealer is gonna be the only hope for Dyer to come back into this game. And uh, he got he got his Midas now, and I missed a kill onto the lion from the timber saw. I simply chakram into some timber chain, and he he is not done yet. He wants this OD, and Irisi are coming as well, slowing this Crystal Nova and the root, and this is gonna be a dead OD. Charcoal on a killing spree, 3k advantage at 10 minutes in. This Timber Saw, this is his power spike, having maxed out Timber Jane, 3 points in reactive armor. Nobody can deal with this man at the moment. And Lion, he, he just wants to make anything happen. We can see mid Monkey King just bullying everybody out of lane, out of their, away from their own tower and just running. But Monkey King, he has melee range. It, by the way, that's melee um, for anybody wondering. But only for Monkey King. And this tier 1 going down to one last hit from the catapult. Boom. Bye bye. Life Stealer, his Midas is off cooldown. He should use it. Please use it. Please use the Midas. Midas? Use your Midas. Chinese symbols. Midas? Your Midas is off cooldown. Dyer's top tower is about you have to face fall. Boots. Please use your Midas. Your Midas? Can we use a Midas? Midas. <laughs> Don't die. With your Midas on. Your Midas has been on for a long time. And Sentry 40 Sand King. Uh, but nice Fisher blocking both. Nice Echo Slam from No Clip, and they get the return kill onto the Lion. Well played by Earthshaker there, putting the Fisher in, stunning three people, walking in Echo Slam. And now Life Stealer used his Midas, but Monkey King is here, and everybody just has to run away. Monkey King with the DD. And uh, we see we didn't see the kill on the Pudge from the from the Earthshaker. Jotham waiting a little bit too long with his stun. They don't get the kill on the life stealers, so that's good for Dyer. <laughs> Not much else going well for them at the moment. X has his Vanguard now. He still can deal a lot of damage with his uh, with his counter helix. Uh, Sanking going mid now. He is still hop hoping for a veil. But no clip, he is closing in on a blink dagger. This is gonna make life so much harder for all of these heroes. Charcoal bullying OD. Is he gonna go for this kill? No, he won't. Um, Orphelia is pushing in mid. Dyer is just in farming mode. They just need to farm. They just need to get some sort of items. Chinese symbols getting the, hitting the, the neutrals in the jungle. So far, we didn't really feel the impact of this Pudge. He can't really do much. He has this member now, so that is good. It goes through BKB. They have some some lockdown. If they if they manage to get a hook into this member, into some kills, I would say they should try for an for a smoke gank. Make something happen around the map. OD, he's level 8, 14 minutes in, even buying the tome. Supports are saying, hey, you need some levels, bruh. And Charcoal, he just goes up ahead. He finds himself a punch and a lion. And he, you know what he does? He is killing them. Erisia getting stunned. Using her ultimate. He just, She just had to let it go. 
And nice ultimate there by OD, just killing the support, but that's just the support. Jarkel still here, still looking strong. He is going into this, it's, but we have to banish, banish. To save people from the wrath of this timber saw. So far this game has been a spanking for the side of weird symbols. And no clip going and he still has an echo slam. And the miss on the timber chain tree here, not here. Unfortunate. But they are pushing this bottom tier 2. We are 15 minutes in. We see who's gonna get the runes. These runes can change the game if uh, Dyer is able to snatch them away from Radiant. But it doesn't look like it. It seems like it's gonna be 4 bounty runes for Radiant. Furthering their advantage even more. Axe going for a blink now. Pudge has an urn with some charges. Outworld Devourer is still trying to finish his treads. And Monkey King, he is finishing in on a Radiance. Has <laughs> this Monkey King has more than double the net worth of the OD. And we see the ultimate from the Monkey King missing absolutely everybody. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Irisia taking lots of tower, sh <laughs> tower damage. And the Axe getting a three-man call, but there's just no follow-up. And Charcoal, he just... <laughs> he doesn't give a shit about this tower, bruh. He's just... And boxes as well. He's gonna be able to deny himself. Nice Axe there. No deny. And Axe... Is he gonna live? Charcoal... No clip has his blink. Echo slamming. Just for the Axe. Getting fingered by the lion. At least something happening for the Lion. Lion having had quite a good game, but everybody else on his team is crumbling. We have a 7k advantage at 17 minutes, and they're just diving tier 3s on the side of Radiant. Radiant being in a commanding position so far. We will see if they are able to close this game out. We have seen a few blunders so far. Jotham getting that Monkey King uh, ult on very few people. And this Lifestealer, he he is going armored. I like this. Chinese symbols, thank you. He do he realizes he needs to fight sooner than a Radiance. He can't farm 5,000 gold. He has to fight now, so he is going for this armlet build. Finishing up, he's actually really close to it. He can buy the the armlet now but monkey king he's having a radiance now radiance on monkey king uh, hex onto the uh, timber saw simply banish they say hey we don't want to fight this let's just uh, let's Dyer just uh, walk away from here I like that call I like that call and life stealer just continues to farm same as OD they just need some some items to come back into this game and their team fight still can be very potent if uh, radiant focuses on the tanky heroes like axe and touch there's still there's still comeback potential for dire but it is looking a bit dire chinese symbol has the armlet now is level 11 in terms of levels, he's gonna be the highest on his team, same with, together with the Axe. But we see Monkey King level 13 and Timbersaw level 12. And, and, and the net worth, it's just win probability. Uh, I don't even wanna look at that. And we see it's just a constant stream upwards, same with experience. Uh, Axe is here, he is t TPing out. Uh, he was just ensuring that his OD was able to get some farm. Ophelius, he has his Veil now, going for a 4 staff, or maybe Blink, saving up for a Blink. Is he gonna be able to get landing the stun, but having no points in the epic center? Using Veil after stun. Not the ideal choice of combo. Dyer are, are scanning. They see, yeah, this, uh, this. There are people up there in our on our high ground and uh, hi on our high ground of the jungle. I mean, 
Axe just showing himself, having two supports behind him. Uh, just to ensure that he can get some farm. Same with Lifesteal. Lifesteal is pushing rather far out. He has 1500 gold. He is keeping up with the safe lane of uh, Radiant. But this Monkey King is simply out of control right now. Nearly 10k advantage at 20 minutes. We'll see who's going to be able to get some bounty runes. Radiant having quite good vision of the uh, Dyer's jungle. So they should be able to get at least two, if not three or four bounty runes. And they're also stronger, so they want to take a fight. Excellent. And we see Monkey King grabbing both bounty runes. Bottom and top are getting Excellent. getting picked up by our Phileas. That is that is another about 1000, 1500 gold swing for Radiant. But Dyer is able to move out onto the map, getting some D wards up. Lion still hoping for for a blink dagger boxes. Just hoping for anything really. <laughs> he is 0, 2 and 0. That's not what you want to see from your perch. It's a rough game. Lifestealer his mites is up here, but he knows he can't go to this wave. There is Monkey King there, it's the most dangerous hero on the map. Are they... They are pincering in onto this Lifestealer. He walks away, he still has rage, he has rage and he's just gonna walk away from this encounter. Unfortunately the follow-up from Radiant wasn't quite there after that stun of Aphilius. He's getting his Midas, so he has 2000 gold. He most likely is just going to buy an Echo Saber or anything to fight because Radiant is looking like they want to fight now. They farmed some more. Monkey King wants a Scotty next. Has a Basher. Charcoal. He's... Uh, that's Ophelius. That's not Charcoal. Charcoal has a Bloodstone and a Blink Dagger. Those are two very farmed cores. Another stun onto Lion. Bail and the stun from the Fisher as well as the Boundless Strike. And that's a dead lion. He just wanted to get some D words up. The hard, hard support life in a game where you're behind. And we see Lifestealer went for Assange in his backpack so far. Most likely gonna trade it out for the Tango. And we see Radiant still afraid to push high ground. They should know that they are far ahead, but they're still kind of afraid to push high ground. Scared of the axe call into maybe tier fours and stealing a lot of int for the OD and then a huge sanity's eclipse. Which is very well possible. He's just farming any farm he can. He's closing in on a 4 staff, which is very nice. 4 staff would be very good. And they are taking Roshan on the side of Radiant now. I don't think Dyer can contest that. There's not really a fight that they can take outside of their base. They simply have to hope for some miraculous team fight high ground. Where Radiant overextends himself. And that's an Aegis on to the Monkey King. Erisia is ready for the smoke, most likely saying, hey, you wanna, like, finish this game out? Orphilius already going ahead. He has a four staff now, skipping the blinks for now, but still already having 1500 gold, so might be getting that next. Lion has a blink now. This can turn things around. A blink hex into stun can catch people very much off guard and lots of damage with Finger of Death as well. He has one stack. He has been part of every single kill that Dyer has. Doing very well for himself. Not the rest of the team though. The rest of the team is struggling a bit. There is a blink dagger from the timber. But there is a blink from the lion. Hexing, impale. But they only... They can't scratch this timber. So not, going, not even going below half health. And lifestealer, he has to run away. They, he knows he can't fight anymore, but his rage is what is getting off. And there's another stun from the Sand King. Nice hook by Boxes. And Ongu. He doesn't have mana right now for his ultimate. 
they can't engage onto this timber saw, I believe. Timber saw is simply, and their axe is getting caught out by Jotham. He is simply hunting people for fun right now. It feels like Orphelius being here, sandstorm into stun into a last hit by Jotham, and OD is simply TPing out. He knows there's nothing to do here. Going for Akaya next. Nice D ward there by Irisia. Um, it's easier to D ward when you're on the winning team side. Invisibility. Life Stealer. He has another 2000 gold, so he keeps up with his farm. Chinese Symbols doing a very good job of that. He yes. is keeping up his net worth in, with the same as Timber saw, despite not having any as uh, good uh, flash farming capabilities as Timber saw. We'll see what's gonna be his next item. It might be Yasha, Sanchon Yasha, good item. It might be an Echo Saber, and he just bought something. We'll see what it's in the courier. And it's a Yasha, Sanchon Yasha, some movement speed, some more attack damage. And Orphelius just walking by him. He is going for a Crimson Garnet. Oh no! The courier nearly died before delivering Sanchon Yasha. Is he still gonna die? Orphelius not following up with the four staff. Close, close. That would have been disastrous. That would have been 2000 gold lost for three minutes for the life stealer. His uh, Midas is coming off cooldown now. Most likely gonna Midas this uh, siege creep or not. He is gonna Midas the range creep or not. Chinese symbols. Your use of Midas. And I missed another kill because of it. Chinese symbols. I just want you to use your Midas, please. <laughs> I know it's nice to use it on a neutral camp, but please use your Midas. There he uses the Midas. Not on the range creep, but he uses it. So there, um, OD got caught out by the Monkey King. It's, uh, it's very easy for Monkey King jumping. Uh, over the entire map. He has level 18 now. He has this plus 603 dense cast range. He will be all over the map within seconds. There is a tower for Axe uh, for the other side, but Radiant Radiant said, hey, we have enough of this game. We've played enough with our food. Let's push the enemy's high ground. And Jarkil is simply standing there. Nice word, by the way, by Irisia. This is very often not getting deworded because most um, supports put a sentry here, and as long as they have the tower, they don't expect to call it. And nice call by the axe onto the timber saw. Banish onto the monkey king. Echo slam hitting the lion, and the epicenter hitting the pudge. Lion already dead. Lifestealer trying to do whatever damage he can, but it is not enough. X dying in the background. Odie's ultimate, just not enough damage. Three people of Radiant solo. But Lifestealer just can't finish him off and Monkey King finishes Lifestealer off. Nice, nice hook by the Pudge, getting the char kill kill. This is first death, it is his first death in the game. But this Monkey King, he has a Scotty now, he has an Aegis. Uh, Aegis is actually gonna run out in a few seconds. So this, uh, bye bye. There the Aegis ran out. Uh, but. They should not be afraid. They they are very far ahead. 17,000 net worth on this Monkey King. He feels very strong and this lion is dead. You can't blink aggressively forward against the Monkey King that's farmed like that. Um, I I guess they... Dire, dire, this is playoff games. They will not GG out until the tr throne is fall. Never give up, never surrender. We saw Dyer still has damage. Um, nice D ward. Nice D ward by Saga Knight. Um, they have a lot of damage with the OD and the and the life stealer. They just need to be able to focus it a little bit more on the cr uh, on the targets. Focus one target down and then the next instead of spreading it out. Uh, all uh, Earthshaker, Timber Saw, and Sanking were all rather low after that team fight, but they weren't quite able to kill him. La Zen King is gonna get over in a double, and there's the stun, and that's a good kill. Good kill onto the Zen King, but there's the Monkey King. Are they gonna be able to stun lock him down? 
and he's gonna get his ultimate off and this might just be the death of the entire dire side that's at least of the axe and the OD he's not gonna get out he is dead his TP just not finishing up in time and Jarkill his he's going up the high ground open wounds life stealer he is getting a lot of damage into this and Timbersaw is dead that's what I mean that's what I'm talking about you can't underestimate this life stealer this life stealer has 12,000 net worth in a game where he was behind the where his team was behind the entire game Chinese symbols keeping up very well in, uh, with the net worth despite his Midas being sometimes of cooldown for a little bit long are they gonna deny this tower they should just deny this tower um, and yeah Jarkill saying hey it's in deny range are they gonna realize it are they gonna do it and OD said like hey yeah let's deny it and Pudge like okay boom and they haven't lost Rax yet. They haven't lost Rax. Charkel overcommitting a little bit here. Not respecting the Lifestealer. Lifestealer, open wounds on a Timber Saw is just gonna eat you alive. Charkel, by the way, going for a Meteor Hammer. And um, just wanting that pressure onto the towers. I guess Radiant does have some uh, a lack of building damage. Uh, Monkey King is not the best in hitting buildings. When he gets his Aghanim Scepter, he can do it rather safely. But without that, it is it is um, pretty dangerous to go up there and hit it over and over. So I guess that's what the, the Meteor Hammer from Charcoal on the Timber Saw is for. And we see a 4 staff on Arisia. She is swimming in that support gold, having the plus 150 GPM. That's when you feel good as a uh, crystal main hitting that level 15. You're like, yes, gold is mine. J Earthshaker having an Agnum Scepter now. He is gonna be slam dunking all day long. And uh, this... This line hasn't gotten much since the Blink Dagger, but the Blink Dagger has, has made it quite a bit easier. The OD is still trying to finish up a Kaya. Buying raindrops, I like it. Like, buy anything that helps you survive. Anything that helps you survive, because that's what you're gonna need right now. And he is closing in onto that Kaya, and uh, this OD can start to hurt. Radium playing it very safe, taking Roshan. Aegis onto the Monkey King, I guess that's now how they can push high grounds. That was uh, Frost Nova onto your Sand King, that's on your team. I guess because Ophelia has most likely stole the arcane rune away from Crystal Main that she so desperately needed to use a, a freezing field on an ancient stack. So just for me. And they're playing it ultra safe, taking out the shrine, getting any amount of gold. 24,000 net worth. And we see it's just steadily going up. Win percentage, yeah. We are at 95%, but this is LD12. Anything can happen. Ah, uh, hook by boxes misses just barely. There's the t there's the meteor hammer onto the racks. They they focus on buildings now, and it's just Jotham in the front. We see we see an infest bomb here from the axe. That's a lot of damage in a good call, and the uh, life stealer coming out of it and dealing lots of damage. I would say they need to engage. Nice call onto the creep wave onto two heroes. Are they gonna be able to take down the Earthshaker? Earthshaker's down. Beautiful ultimate by Erisia. But Lifestealer is hammering in the damage. And that's a death sanking by, uh, by OD. But it's just not enough. They can't deal with the Monkey King. Beautiful call there from the Axe. But they are just that little bit too far behind. Buyback from the Lion. Lifestealer most likely has to buy back as well. He's trying to finish up an AC. That call was phenomenal. Getting Earthshaker and Sanking in it. Both of the counter initiations. Buyback of the Lifestealer. And is it gonna be enough? There we see Lifestealer going on to the Crystal Maiden. Slaying the Crystal Maiden. They killed the Monkey King. Charcoal is still alive. Are they gonna be able to kill both of these? Those are the two cores most threatening. Jotham is just like, yeah, what you gonna do about it, bitch? Uh, open wounds onto the onto the Monkey King. 
banish from the OD. They are focusing on this Timber Saw now. Again, they need to focus a little bit more on the same target. They can banish one and then attack the other. But they open wounds and then banished. And this is a lot of damage. And that's a dead life stealer. And this is just gonna be game here. Valiant effort by Dyer. I I, I gotta say, I underestimated how much damage they were gonna do here. That was a beautiful call. More stuff like that in the second game. They got rolled over in the laning phase. But weird symbols. We'll see if they're gonna be able to bring it back in game two. I hope so. I hope more hype plays like those at the last fight. I'll see you in game two.